So what's happening? You see the thumbnail. What happened to the black family? Uh, some people say it's slavery. Um, I don't think so. Some people, because we were married, the black family was the most married couple family in the world. Some people say it was misogyny. I don't think so. Because the stories that people have of misogyny are few and far between, for one. And for two, a lot of this stuff is made up. You know, you got it from movies, but not necessarily your household. Some say feminism. Hmm, I, don't, I think so, but then again, I don't. I think what happened to the black family was selfishness. Because what it looks like is you had groups of people out for self. And they were out for self at the expense of the, of the black family. Or you had groups of people that was, that was out for particular people in the family and, and, uh, and left other people to fend for themselves. You know, it turned a, a nice family into a horror show, thus the picture, right? The selfishness that was created, uh, that has, has been cultivated. You know, people, it's the norm to be selfish now. It's the norm to expect somebody to sacrifice for you while you bleed them dry. It's the norm to point the finger at uh, racism, feminism, um, misogyny. But nobody usually points the finger to Narcissism, self, you know, look at the person in the mirror. Nobody says, well, when the family got broke up from infidelity, that was selfishness. Or when the family got broke up because of uh, financial abuse, because when people assume infidelity, I'm just talking about men, so, but that's a two way street. But when f financial in abuse, you know, I say uh, that's predominantly women. But there were men involved in that, right? So selfishness. I want to do what I want to do. I want to spend my money the way I want to. But it's a problem. At the at the at the at the detriment of other people. Then you got people who don't want to say this, but this framing. And mothers and, and mothers and fathers, they're just like this frame in the community that the black boys were the enemy and they were not dependable when they were the same age as your daughters. That created a monster, you know. And that's why I said somewhat blaming feminism, but not, not, not so much because the girls grew up thinking that the boys were uh, not going to be dependable because their parents told them this. And, I, and there are guys who are older than me, who are in the baby boomer, boomer generation, who I've heard on numerous occasions play that same game. All the guys ain't, you know, you got to make sure I don't want my daughter to be in a situation where she got to depend on a man. So this messed up the family. And now, I mean, some of those baby boomers have died. But now those baby boomers... Are tr were trying to rectify the situation because they saw how it affects their grandchildren's lives. Because that, you know, they bred that selfishness and and um, and uh, superiority complex into the community, which, you know, what happened to the family. Same thing goes for this ideology, the player ideology. You could play all day. You could play, and then you could settle down at fifty. So then people want to come around and be parents after, you know, playtime is over. Or they can't play, which is normally when they can't play anymore. And the game then booted them, you know, out the pasture. So I'm saying, like, what happened to the black family? This is my opinion. What do you think? Like, share, subscribe, catch on the next one. Peace.